idea pins are dead and we need to talk about it. On May 11th, 2023, Pinterest released a very large update and I actually had snooped this out. I saw things starting to change on May 9th. I started playing with the changes on May 10th. I submitted an, an inquiry to the PBC or the Pinterest business community pioneers chat on May 10th in the very early morning. And then on May 11th, it was confirmed that what I was seeing is actually accurate and what this means for you. So let's actually just dive right on into it. If you're new here, my name is Heather Ferris. I run a Pinterest marketing agency as well as a paid membership program with over 150 active members. I've been doing this YouTube channel for years. I have a Pinterest blog, you name it. I've been doing this for seven years. So I am a trusted source of information for you if you are seeing me for the first time. If you're not, welcome back. So happy to have you here. So what do these new changes mean for you? Quite simply, it's not a huge deal. Pinterest has turned idea pins off for everything except ads. And even in the ad framework in the create tab where it says create idea ad, you can still only upload one single page and that's a video. So let's dive into what the changes are. Right now, you can't see my screen, but we're gonna put an image up on the screen where you can see this create tab. If you click the create pin button, you're gonna notice under paid, it says create pin for ad, create pin for idea ad. Under organic, it says create pin and go live. The majority of people on Pinterest do not have the ability to go live. So the only thing that you are seeing as a change right now is a create pin tab. So if you click create pin, you'll be brought to this screen that you can see. And you can now only upload one single creative as a pin you can upload a standard image or a video. Now here's where it gets tricky or fun. I guess it depends on who you are. The features that once were available on idea pins have now been merged into all pin formats, including image and video pin formats. That includes music, stickers, product stickers and product tags for affiliate links, um, adding images and things onto it, make, like basically editing your video as if you were editing it in like an Instagram reel format. But those features are only available on mobile. Image pins can be created on desktop. However, you cannot add any music or any of the fun stickers or anything like that. You can also create video pins on desktop, but again, you cannot create and add any of the fun aspects that you can using mobile. So no stickers, no product tags, no affiliate links. Here is a positive update. All pin formats, including video and image pin formats, now have the ability to add tags. You were only able to add tags to video or idea pins in the past. So every pin format that there is has all options available to you. However, whether they're available is gonna be whether you upload on desktop or mobile. The max length for video pins going forward is five minutes. So keep that in mind when you are uploading. Most all formats are going to remain the same, including MOV files and MP4 files. You can now add links to every single pin format that you make, and that includes your video pins. And they're actually making it a lot easier for us to be able to visit the video pins on Pinterest by adding a very obvious visit button. And that is actually the most fantastic update when it comes to videos on Pinterest that I have actually seen in years. I'm so excited about this change. You might be asking yourself, what happens to the previous idea pins that I actually made? Well, that's a really great question and Pinterest has already covered it. So all the former idea pins that you made will be converted to videos. We're already seeing that happening. And I actually started noticing that happened last week. So so all previous multi-slide idea pins now auto play through. And if you added stickers or anything like that, all of that remains. Nothing actually changed with the editing that you made on the idea pins. The only thing that's going to change is that they are automatically going to be considered a video now. Now, as of right now on our idea pins that were converted to videos, I am not seeing that same visit button that I'm seeing on actual video pins that I uploaded as a video. I am sure that those changes will roll out and we will start to see that visit button pop up on our idea pins that have links going forward. Here's another fun update I've been actually waiting for forever. And it's the ability to upload standard image pins as a draft, hallelujah. I'm so excited about this one because at once upon a time when you uploaded an image, you could only schedule it right then. 
you can actually save it as a draft. Now, one downside to this that I am seeing is you cannot bulk upload your images right now into the Create Pin. I'm gonna be submitting this as a feature request in the new pin builder. It may already be something that they're building out. However, we really need the ability to drag and drop multiple images into the Create tab and have them all populate into drafts because that is a feature I'm gonna miss. Now, when it comes to scheduling, we have the ability to schedule up to 30 days now, which is fantastic. If you're not seeing that update on your Pinterest account just yet, just know it is rolling out. We should be seeing it on everyone's account here soon. But I love the fact that they've taken us away from like the 12 to 14 day range and bumped us up to 30 days. Back to the drafts topic just for a moment. When you do upload a Pinterest pin to the create a pin builder, the drafts will expire after 30 days and that is accurate for any pins that you upload going forward. You can edit previously published idea pins and add links to them now. So I would suggest if that is something that you want to take some time doing to go back and do that at least on the most important important pieces of content that you created as idea pins. If there are any idea pins that just really took off and went viral for you, perhaps go back and add a link to those and just make it, make them a priority. If it's product focused, if it's content focused, or if it's gone viral for you in those three situations, I would consider going back and adding links. I know I'm going to get that question, so I just thought I would answer it now. Now, as of filming this, I don't actually have the new Pinterest update on my mobile phone myself, but my friends actually screen shotted this update and sent it to me. So this is actually what it looks like. And you can see the little blue flag that says we've, we have merged all the pin creation types. So you, you literally can only create a pin and create a board now. I like it. I like it. I'm excited for this actually. Another question I know I'm going to get is where is this going to be available? And as of right now, it looks like it's actually available in all major markets as of the push of this update. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste all the countries that this is available in into the description down below, just so you can go and see if your country is on the list. And there are going to be some countries that are not on the list. That is just common, but it looks like all of Pinterest major markets are covered at this time. Now, a couple of other things when you go to publish your pins, you're going to notice that you have the option to actually create a description and create notes. I know I'm gonna get this question as well. What should we put in the notes section? It's not a requirement. If you just wanna write a description for your pins, you can just write a description. If you wanna add additional notes that someone might need to know, you can open that little box up and add additional notes. Now, how we're using this right now for our clients is anything in the notes section is actually related to product benefits and features. And then I add and write a full description in the description box. As far as the tagging goes, when you're adding tags to your standard pins or your image pins, I would suggest at least adding the most appropriate tags because this is going to help Pinterest to understand what your images are about. We've been using these in videos for a long time and formerly idea pins for a long time. So go ahead and add those tags. If you're in the B2B niche, then I would suggest looking for social media marketing, internet marketing, marketing business stuff related to business. Those are the most appropriate tags that I actually find for myself. Now, I fully expect there to be glitches with this as it rolls out over the next several weeks. They are going to be refining things, adding things, removing things, I'm sure of it. I've actually gotten a few DMs over the last week telling me that people are not able to actually upload videos to the platform. I have a sneaking suspicion that this is why. So just bear with the platform changes as they roll out. Also remember, in any given quarter, they are getting rid of spam users. So if you notice any fluctuations in views or followers, that could also be what is happening on the platform as well. I will continue to publish updates on this. I will continue to release new content showing you how to use these updated or merged features. So rest assured that this is going to be rolling out on this channel right here as we go. So if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. If you feel like this is a channel that has been official for you, if you're not new here, if you could like the video, that would be great. So it can expand to more people and more people can see these updates as they roll out. If you need one-on-one -on -one support, or if you're looking for more support as these changes happen, you can always join Pin Profit Academy. I don't ever hard sell in this on this YouTube channel, but that is a place. It's very affordable for everyone to join if you wanted to, and you can get these new updates. You can get best practices, and you can stay completely up to date on all of these changes. If you don't want to join the Academy, that's okay too. You can join my email list if you would like to. There is a strategy guide down in the description that you can always hop on. You can grab my organic strategy guide and you can get regular updates through my newsletter as well. I always send 
email blasts when there's anything new like this that releases. So the day that this video goes out, I will also send a newsletter um, alerting every one of these changes. So just know I'm on top of it, but if you have any questions on how this impacts you right now going forward, then drop them in the comments down below. And one last thing before we go, any of the previous idea pin videos on my channel that you might see, they're not totally irrelevant because we can still create pins within that sort of framework. The only thing that you're going to need to do if you create multi-page idea pins is export them as one single video file. So if you're creating them in Canva, just download them as an MP4 file. It'll stitch them all together. And then you can actually use the same strategy that I was teaching in all of those videos. I think the strategies that I was talking about in those videos are still 100% accurate. However, the format is the only thing that changed. So just know that if you see any of those videos, you can watch them. The strategies are still accurate. The pin format and how you upload them is the only thing that's changing. So again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below and I will do my best to get them answered for you as soon as I can. That's it for this week. Head on over here and watch these Pinterest videos next.